Welcome to Olympian Cares, giving you the best in water testing and analysis. Today we're looking at Olympian Cares, talking about water quality and illness. And water quality testing in Queens and water quality is extremely important. Why is it so important when it comes to illness? Because a lot of people are not going to smell, taste, or see anything wrong with their water. But if the water quality is low, over time you have a poor quality water or it's getting contaminated with something coming into your home, and you continuously drink that, you're going to develop some kind of condition. Or you could. Not saying that that's always the case, but it's something to be aware of, that poor water quality can almost invariably lead to illness, and it's something you can control. So whether you own your own home, whether you're looking at a home to buy, whether you're out in the country or in the city, a lot of people assume that if their drinking water is clear, and it doesn't smell or taste funny, then it's healthy and safe to drink. And a lot of people will even kind of go past the fact that that's not the case. They'll just think, hey, I'm drinking the water. It's fine. I haven't really felt any issues, so I'm going to keep drinking that water. But unfortunately, that's not always true. Because water contamination is not always noticeable. It can be contaminated with bacteria. It can be contaminated with heavy metals. And you're not going to notice it. And this can invariably lead to health problems and illnesses that can range from mild to severe or even life-threatening. So don't take it lightly. Over time, it could threaten your life. So what's easier to do? You have to ask yourself. Neglect testing my water or face an illness down the road. Which one is a better idea and which one's more time-consuming, which one's more costly? This is th something to consider. The only way to determine the water quality of a home is to have water testing done. You can use filters, you can do home tests, but it's always good to have an independent party who's been doing it for a very long time come analyze and test the water. And there's a lot of different organisms that can affect the quality of your drinking water, including bacteria, protozoa, and others. And some organisms are considered pathogens and directly responsible for causing illnesses and disease in humans, while other organisms are not directly considered pathogens, but they may indicate that other organisms are present that are pathogens, so you don't know. Sometimes E. coli isn't harmful. Sometimes it is, and it can cause some stomach problems or worse. Sometimes there could be other pathogens that aren't harmful, but you don't know. Water quality is an important aspect of any home, and the water testing should be done at least, at least once a year. And that's a good idea. It's When I say get your water tested periodically, Pick one day out of the year, or one or two days out of the year, and just get your water tested professionally. That way you know that it's safe. It's a preventative measure. Like getting a checkup at a doctor, you would get a checkup once or twice a year and make sure you're healthy. It's very costly to let things just go and go and go till there's a problem. And know that any time a well is opened, if there's flooding, or has there been other risks which may indicate the water source may have been contaminated, the water quality testing should be done to protect you and all the occupants of your home. So, wherever you're at, whether you're in Queens, the Bronx, Yonkers, Westchester, whether you're in a city, rural area, whatever it is, it's a, always a good idea to get your water tested in your home or in your apartment or wherever you live. And water quality testing should be done at least once a year and at other times as well. If you're thinking about getting a new home, you should have the water tested before making a purchase. The testing should be done any time a well is opened, or if there's a possibility contamination could have been introduced into the water source. Because as we say, clean and safe drinking water, the most important considerations. Make sure that that's a consideration you have, and make sure you get it tested and analyzed periodically.